What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining me. I'm timeless photographer and cinematographer Drew Geraci. Today's a special day because we're taking a look at the brand new roll axis from Kessler Crane. And it's an addition that you can put onto your cine shooter. So if you've already taken your cine shooter out and you've got that beautiful three axis motion control with the slider, the pan, and the tilt, you can now add the ability to give it a little roll, just like this. Whee! <laughs> Not bad, right? Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and talk about what this roll axis adds feature-wise to the new cine shooter. I've been using the new roll axis on the cine shooter for a little over three months now, and I can say it's really taken my motion control to a whole new realm and probably something I won't ever take off my unit again. Aside from doing the standard barrel roll moves, which always look cool in moderation, the biggest benefit to having this on your MoCo system is the ability to now keyframe a balanced and level horizon. In the past, you'd have to set up your MoCo rig so it was 100% level across the board, from the slider to the head to the camera, but because of this simple addition of the roll axis, you now have the ability to perfectly level your shot on any type of terrain. I found it particularly impressive when performing slanted slider moves or moves that would have taken a while to level out. With the roll axis, you simply find the horizon in the first keyframe and then level out the horizon in the end keyframe and you're set. You don't have to worry about fixing the levelness in post or spending time adjusting the legs or mounts to get that perfect balance. The roll axis covers it all. In this setup example, you can see that if the roll axis isn't activated, you'd likely have a hard time leveling out your shot. And you'd realistically have to perform the fix in post, which then limits your resolution and quality of your shot. In this example, the roll axis has been engaged and keyframed so that the camera is always level, even on uneven terrain or at a slant. This will help shooters really nail their shot and create the perfect motion controlled move. There are a few drawbacks to the roll axis, but none are really that bad. The first issue is the thumb screw that's required to lock the Arca Swiss plate in place. While it's possible to move while it's flush against the wall of the roll axis, it can be incredibly difficult if you have medium to large hands. The knob is too smooth to really get a good grip on it, which can make it cumbersome to loosen or tighten, especially if there's a camera on the unit. My suggestion for this would be to ensure that the plate is precisely where you want it to be ahead of time before you load the camera on, and to turn the axis on its side so the knob becomes fully available to control. You'll also find that depending on the camera that you use, you may have limited space to roll left or right before the camera body connects with the side of the unit. The roll axis definitely works better if you're using a square camera. Mirrorless cameras also work, but you have to do some fine tuning if you want to perform a full 360 degree move. The unit is quite tough and durable though, and with the HD support bar, you're able to load the system up with 15 pounds of camera gear. If you exceed that weight limit, you'll know pretty quick because the head will just drop if you try to perform any move. That being said, if you're using a mirrorless camera or smaller cinema cameras, you won't have any issues at all. So if you already have the Cine Shooter, I would totally recommend getting the Roll Axis because it just adds a completely new dynamic to the entire um, setup of the unit. It also gives you a lot more versatility when it comes to setting up moves. Again, just as we said, so if you're on an uneven terrain, you can use this to stabilize and balance the shot so that you get that perfectly level shot. Uh, when you are performing your motion control moves. And I think for me, um, especially as a time-lapse photographer and cinematographer, that's probably the best aspect of this roll bar. Um, it's also fun to do some really fun push roll moves with it too. Um, but overall, this really adds a whole new um, element to the uh, motion control system. And if you are definitely in the market for it, I'd say go out and get it. If you have any questions, just throw them down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Happy shooting.